let's have the one more very very important question which many students are asking me you are the correct person to give the answer for this so, some students are saying sir i completed the btech i got the job yes so i am in dilemma whether i have to prepare gate or job so you see in the vast life you started as a small student right um, finally you now you are in the yes. us and uh, you are earning i got to know from your friend you were earning approximately something like 5 crore 6 crore per year i don't know whether it is right or wrong right but you went this much this much long in your life i think you are the correct person to guide the students so get exam or job which one they have to prefer which you yeah. suggest okay so like it depends like what you want to do in the future so like both both have their pros and cons so if you are in a college and at the end if you really want to do the software job and if in your college you are getting good job like uh, whatever is the dream job like microsoft google all the big companies if you are directly getting it and if you are you are satisfied with whatever job you are getting from college and if you only want to do the job then i would say go for the job and if you are not getting good opportunity in your college to sit for all these MNC and you feel that, okay, you can still uh, like go into these companies, I would say that go for the gate. That is the best uh, platform what you can get for all these companies. You can, like these companies are going to directly visit your campus and you're going to get opportunity to sit for these companies and there you can go all these bigger companies, bigger names. And the other option can be for the gate is that if you want to do the post uh, postdoc or PhD, correct? And if you really want to do the research, I would say that like, then you have two options, either go for gate or you can write GRE and come US to do the, your master's as well. It depends on what is your preference, what is your situation right now, correct? So for me, like I wanted to do the job, but uh, for me after startup, it was hard to get the job uh, back. So probably I tried the gate exam because I don't want to like invest so much, like some money in doing a GRE here out like, uh, master doing out in US. So I choose the gate exam. I wrote that I got good rank and in IIT, all the companies come, you directly get offered for US also, or you can directly work in all the companies in U India also, all the bigger names. So probably these can be the motivation. You can write pros and cons, what you are getting right now and uh, what is your target in the future. And based on that, you can decide what is good for uh, you. It depends on each person actually, their situation, each person is different. So when you were studying in the BTEC, uh, Vinit, you got any placement? Uh, after BTEC, like I got the placement in uh, TCS, uh, but I did not join that. Uh, even though like I joined that company, but I did not go there. I, I go there for some time and then I absconded. So I, <laughs> I never liked that uh, job because I knew that I, I don't want to do that sort of job. So many, many people. Uh, because, uh, we need many people problem with this only sir i selected in the tcs should i prepare gate exam or can i go to tcs sir i got to infosys sir should i join yeah. in the infosys or should i go to gate this is the actually yeah. most of yeah. the people yeah. problem yeah. That's yeah yeah that's why i'm saying that depends like if you are you feel that okay you are not you are you are capable more you should do more right so i was feeling that going in tcs that okay i can do something better in my life so why go for that correct and then uh, that, that's why like i i did startup as well i did wrote the gate so life is different you have to choose uh, or you have to try different things and then you're going to find it out what is best for you and that's what i did there was some risk for sure because when you leave the job correct right now job market is very tight people are not getting job it will be hard for people to leave the jobs and prepare for these exams correct so that's why like it's early to find out what you want to do in life and be prepared for that right so that's why like we should start gate exam preparation early in the like uh, early years correct maybe second year starting second year also so you are well prepared for uh, writing gate as well as well as all the bigger companies and mnc and then you can decide what you want to do based on your uh, results okay. yeah so we need uh, i know Right, you are my student. We both done one year journey. I still remember you used to torture me every day, every day before class. You write, suppose, isn't that I am coming from my house to classroom, 
right yeah. you used to stop me and in the middle of the path only from there you used to ask me doubts i still remember those days we walked many time while going also you yeah. used to come back side of me and while coming also you used to come back side of me you used to ask me some doubts you and your friend so i have so many memorable moments i still remember those so can you say something about your preparation which subject you started what is the subject order you started so can you give some rough rough story about the your preparation yeah uh, so like i was i was always good in aptitude and reasoning and everything so like that was my uh, that was my strength so i never prepared for that uh, but like uh, algorithm is something which i was interested in so i started with the algorithm and I, and i also like find it out what are the like uh, subject which uh, in gate exam what are the weightage for each subject correct i started with them so for dsa it was very obvious choice because we'll get a lot of questions from the data structure and algorithm so i, I started with that and then i uh, went, like the logical um, reasoning like after that like the uh, logical progression is that you will go to the automata probably that's what i choose after dsa algorithm i went to automata and then uh, uh there was one digital circuit design something uh that was also very easy so these were the easy subject for me i covered them very fast uh automata and the digital reasoning and dsa i i used to read for my fun uh, like because i like the subject so i used to read that subject and that's why i i used to read corman i you uh, i used to bring that book to you and ask all these questions so these are the three subjects i started